I think the reign of Call of Duty might be kind of coming to an end. It's hard to make that call because these games have been big for years. But there's something off about Call of Duty Vanguard that I want to go over with you guys. So Game Rant puts this out. Why Call of Duty Vanguard is a sure bet for top selling game of 2021. I don't know if that's true. I think it'll sell well. In fact, I think it'll sell quite well. But this year is a little bit different with Halo coming out. And you've also got Battlefield really kind of making a push. Also, Warzone is still free. <laughs> that ain't going anywhere, at least not this year. I think Vanguard might be in a lot of trouble. And I personally think that would be a good thing because, in my opinion, Call of Duty has been stale for years. I cannot stand skill based matchmaking. I hate skill based matchmaking, and I'm not the only one. And you know what? I think that this is starting to catch up with Activision. I want to show you guys some stuff. So, yesterday, this is what got me to want to talk about this. Either yesterday or the day before yesterday, they released trailers for the Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer, which is a big deal. The multiplayer is what keeps these games going. Uh, there's like three camps for Call of Duty. There's people that just buy the game for single player. There's people that buy the game for multiplayer. And then there's the people that like to play both. Some people just play the multiplayer and that's it. I mean, they've literally released games with no campaign before. That's how big the multiplayer is. Now, usually, I want to show you this. If you check this out here, usually when they reveal multiplayer for Call of Duty, uh, they get millions of views. Look at this. 7.4 million views for the multiplayer reveal of World War II Call of Duty. And we move over here. Modern Warfare multiplayer reveal. 11 million views. Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer. 7.9 million views. Vanguard. Uh, currently sitting. Not a, It's actually a little bit higher than this right now. But most of the videos actually have low views. Look at this one from IGN. 91,000. GameSpot, not even 18,000. IGN again, 39,000. This is the official worldwide. It's almost like they it's almost like they republished the same trailer <laughs> with it like, "Oh, we'll just call it official worldwide reveal." And uh it got 39,000 compared to not even hit 100. I think they reposted it so that they could see if they could get the views up on it. That's crazy. Uh, here's the official Call of Duty account. Six million subscribers. Not even 500,000 views. And I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say, well, it's only been up for two days. Right? It's been up for two days. Now, how things actually work on YouTube is like the first day and a half is where you get the majority of your views. Sure, they'll go up a little bit over time, but the most the most hits you're going to get are your first your first day i bet all the views for these other trailers that dropped came in like when the, in the first in the first day now i could be wrong sure but look at this this tweet dropped this tweet dropped yesterday and Vanguard was at 405 views one day ago. Look where it's at now. That's pretty pathetic. That's really pathetic. Look at Halo Infinite uh, one month ago. Like, uh, and the official Halo channel, 2.8 million views. I think people are ready for something new. I can't wait for Halo Infinite's multiplayer. I think a lot of people are excited for it. And, uh, you know... Is this finally the end for Call of Duty? I hope so. 
I hope so. I don't even think a lot of people are going to watch this video because no one gives a shit about Call of Duty. But I just thought it was crazy. Like, nobody gives a shit about, about this game. The views don't lie. Now, I'm not saying the game's not going to sell well. I think it'll sell fine. But I think compared to years before, even last year, I think the the people playing the game aren't going to be that high. I think they're going to keep playing Warzone is what they're going to do. And if they don't play Warzone, they're going to be playing Halo Infinite or Battlefield. I think Halo Infinite's going to be the big one this year. We'll see. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to Halo Infinite. I'm going to definitely get that. And that's free. That's That multiplayer is going to be free to play. You don't even have to get the game to play it. Um, but as far as Call of Duty goes, I think the king has finally lost his crown. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, what do you guys think? Is this the end of an era? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.